90% of the time when you walk into this room, everything will be on and ready for you to use. But let's walk through a couple of visual cues and things to do to make sure that the technology is ready for you to use as well. The first thing you do when you walk into the room is take a look at the ceiling. There are two white microphones that have a green ring around them, and that is the microphones for the room. That tells you that the audio system is working. At the front of the room, you'll see a camera with a little white light on the left, and that means the camera is working. On the touch screen, this may be um, in sleep mode, but there's a little sensor at the front. So as soon as you walk up to the touch screen, it should turn on. And if you interact with the touch screen, it would also turn on as well. Here in this particular case, we've turned off the TVs on purpose. And on the touch screen, you can see at the top, it says the room displays are unplugged. Can you plug them back in, please? So all you have to do is with the remote control, Turn on the displays. You can hear that little click and the flicker of the LED light on the display. And now the displays will wake up and go through the process of negotiating with the equipment and so on and so forth. So let's just watch kind of how, that's go how that goes through the process. It does take about 30 seconds or so, uh, which may feel like forever. Um, but the system is kind of loading and, and making sure everything's connected. Now the first thing you'll see is probably the main screen of the display before it detects the source. So if you see a blue screen. Now one of the things that you'll see first is this blue screen on the New Line TVs and that's the main screen. And that's the step before it identifies if anything's connected. Once it connects to the system and it knows that it's on, um, you know, connected to the Microsoft Teams room, it will then start auto negotiating. First thing we'll see here is that the touch screen, that little error message at the top is gone. And now on screen, we see the Microsoft Teams background with the clock and so on and so forth. That means we're ready to go. Your audio's working, your camera's working, the screens are working, and you're good to go. Now, one last thing with regards to the screens. It may happen if someone changes the source on the screen. Let's just talk about which source you need to be on. If you're on the right-hand side, this screen, you'll hit Menu. And with the little arrow keys, you're going to go down and over to Display Port and hit the check mark button. So the screen on the right is on Display Port. For the screen on the left, same process is you choose Menu, scroll down, and choose HDMI 1. Those are the right inputs for both of those screens. And that's it. Your system will be ready to go for your next meeting.